I'm gonna talk about this, this these shows, these shows called Teen Moms and uh, 16 and Pregnant. Now, I know NTV come out with some great shows, great shows, and they get high ratings, but I don't think doing shows like 16 and Pregnant and Teen Moms is helping you. I said, y'all already got in trouble for that show you had called Skins, and people was looking at it and saying that's child pornography. And you got these shows, 16 and Pregnant and Teen Moms. I think you're sitting up here. I think when you did, when they came out with 16 and Pregnant, I think that was glamorizing and promoting teen pregnancy. Even though Dr. Drew said, well, we're not trying to promote or glamorize teen pregnancy. If you're not, why is there a show about it? Why is there several seasons of this show? If you're not trying to gl uh, glamorize the teen pregnancy or promote it, because that's all it is. There's always several seasons. There's always new girls going on these shows. Said, I'm pregnant, I'm under the age of 18, and they're not married. So, you, and you gotta, like, for one thing is, I can't be a hypocrite against teen pregnancy, I can't, I know people that was teenagers then, that was teenagers and they had kids, but to promote it on TV is BS, bullshit, like why would you do that, I know the parents are like, I don't, like I don't get it, why would you do that, I wonder how do they feel if one of the producers or the owner's kids was on there, 16 and pregnant, teen moms. I bet they'd be mad as hell. But I don't think glamorizing and promoting teen pregnancy is the right thing to do. Because one thing is, if they try to, if you're trying to cut back on teen pregnancy, teen pregnancies and teen parenting, uh, I wouldn't promote it. I wouldn't promote this. I wouldn't sit up there and think, okay, it's the best thing to do is promote teen pregnancy or glamorize it or sell merchandise of it or have these girls come back for teen mom several seasons and all this because it's stupid because there's a new generation out there and these kids are coming up where the parents of these kids, these teens, don't want them to follow in their footsteps. But it's kind of hard for the parents to teach their teenage daughters or teenage sons don't follow in their footsteps when you got shows like Teen Moms and 16 and Pregnant. It's kind of hard not trying to teach them. Oh, don't get pregnant. Uh, get, wait till you get married. Uh, it's kind of hard that they trying to tell their kids wait till you get married to have kids. But you, but it, but they can't because MTV comes out with 16 and Pregnant. Plus, that's digging around in personal inf personal business right there. So when that child grows up, people are gonna be picking on it. Uh, uh, you was only see mom, sixteen and uh, mom, sixteen and pregnant, mom, teen mom, and all that. Give them you the kid. I'm telling you, man, that's like promoting and glamorizing teen pregnancy. It's not the best thing to put a stop to teen pregnancy. <laughs> It ain't doing nothing but promoting it and get, trying to get more kids to do it. Like you really trying to get more teenage girls to get pregnant just to get on the show because. It gets on my nerves and I don't want to hear it. So stupid, like. Cause one thing is you trying to get them famous just see when you promote and glamorize teen pregnancies. You want them, you want more teen girls to get pregnant so they can go on the show. Every time there's a new season, it's a new set of girls. If you ain't glamorizing, there shouldn't be, if you're not promoting or glamorizing teen pregnancy, there wouldn't be no second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth season of teen, 16 and pregnant or teen mom. But y'all glamorizing it. I don't even think and people ought to understand it. Like I don't give a fuck. Like people, y'all can sit up there and try to protect MTV and all that, but it's true. It's all true. Think about it. Why is there several seasons of Teen Mom? They should have been one, one document of 
teen pregnancy. Like they could have went around with the camera and document like they did True Lives. Like they do True Lives. They could have did True Lives. I'm a teen pregnant. I'm a teen parent. They could have documented what's it like to be a teen parent. That would have been it. But to promote, to promote teen pregnancy and to promote teen pregnancy and teen parenting, that's kind of wrong in a in a way. I'm like y'all can be trying to bitch me out. Oh, you're wrong for dogging out 16 and pregnant and teen mom. I'm dogging it out because they're promoting it. I'm, I'm promote. I'm, I'm dogging it because they promote that shit like ain't nothing. It's like, it's like a gay person promoting gay porn. Or like, or like these people out here. It's like these damn Bible thumpers sitting up there burning the Quran. Trying to protest that the Quran's is fake or uh, any other religions is, religions are wrong. But y'all set up here and y'all wanna Oh we love teen mom, we love teen mommies, oh we love teen bring For real though For real though Why are y'all backing up these damn networks where backing up these networks where they are pimping out your kids see they already got fucked up when I was doing the show uh skins because they started bitching and complaining about well there's child pornography well it is child pornography if you got teen kids under the age of 16 under the age of 18 up there trying to have sex on TV I don't give a fuck it's real or fake and still t- teen uh, uh, kitty porn, and you promoting, and you promoting teen pregnancy, and you say, "Oh, we're not trying to glamorize it or promote it." If you're not, why is there even a s- season? Why is there even a third, fourth, fifth, sixty-five? I don't give a damn season. Why you keep doing season after season after season after season after season of this damn show? If you're not glamorizing and, produ- and uh, promoting teen pregnancy, are you gonna like? I'm for real. If they're not teen, if they're not promoting it, promoting teen pregnancy, take your like. If they're not promoting teen pregnancy, why don't you take? Why don't they take their asses out here where there's an 18 year old girl raising a three year old or a five year old dog daughter or son? If you're not promoting uh, 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 teen moms, go to a girl that's 25. And her. When she had a child at 15, think about it. Go to a 25 year old girl that had a child at the age of 15 and tell me what it was like to be a teen mom. If you're not glamorizing it, or if you're not sitting up there promoting it, because it's stupid as shit that they would do these shows, <sighs> promote these shows like oh my god, like they're promoting like they really want that to happen. They really want teens that teens to have sex and get pregnant. They really want them to have sex. I'm not a hypocrite. About, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite and say, well, it's, uh, well, just bad mouthed teen parents that I that I know. Cause one thing is, I had a relative that was a teen parent, got had a kid at at a, at a teenage age, at a, at a teenage, as a teenage. I'm not knocking them, but I think it's just wrong, yo. You promoting that shit now? Why ain't you do that back in like? Why ain't MTV think about that? Back in the 80s, back in the 90s, but in 2000 they started thinking about it. They could have went through the 90s where there was actually a lot of teen pregnancies, or back in the 80s where there was teen pregnancies. What about the 50s and 60s? There was teen pregnancies, a lot, but back in the 50s and 60s. 
and now and and you never seen a show you never seen NBC ABC CBS TBS BT Dateline and Inside Edition all this bullshit promoting teen pregnancy but MTV want to promote it and glamorize it and make it look good want them to say well it's want this they want to tell the people oh it's great as hell to see these damn kids get knocked up at 14 13 15 oh it's all good we're gonna promote the hell out of teen pregnancy and glamorize that shit if you want to cut back, if you want to cut down on teen pregnancy, then cancel the damn show. So there won't be no girls trying to get pregnant. Or boys trying to get girls pregnant. Because it's bad enough that, like, because one thing is, you got these parents trying to teach their kids not to be teen moms or teen dads or, <laughs> and all this and that. But it, but how can they when you got all these shows saying, okay, it's a good, it's an okay thing, it's an okay thing to do. It's the right thing to do is get pregnant at a young age. All that work that parents have taught their kids, don't get pregnant at, at a young age. Wait till you get married. Wait till you over the age of 21 to get married and have kids. Not now at 16 or 15 or 14. From 13 to 8, from 13 to 19, they're trying to tell their kids, don't get pregnant at this age because you're not very, you're not responsible enough to be a teen parent. But when you promote, when you make shows like Teen Moms at 16 and Pregnant, it's kind of hard for these parents to tell their kids not to get pregnant or not, or try not to get some girl pregnant. Cause one thing is, like I said, I got a relative that got pregnant at a young age. Now it's this relative's turn to teach her kids not to get married, not to have kids at a teenage uh, as a teenager. Cause my relative's daughter is is fourteen. It's fourteen years old, and it's right around this teen preg pregnancy shit. And I think it's wrong, just this wrong as hell for these uh, MTV to promote that it is wrong for that if it's getting to that point of them showing 16 and pregnant and teen moms how far would they go when they actually film these damn teens having sex it's bad enough when they had skins on there but it's getting to a point where they want to push the envelope and, and pull this shit They promoting teen pregnancy like it ain't shit. Then you got these damn, then you got all these critics. Oh, it's a good show. Give them high five and good, good ratings and shit. You're telling these damn teenage kids to get pregnant at a young age. You teach, you're telling them if you want to be on our show, you got to get knocked up. That's all it is. When kids want to get on the show, well, it's either you get knocked up or you already had your child. And that's fucked up. That's and that's kind of wrong for that shit, man. And I don't think any teenage kid should be sitting up there dogging my ass out. You're wrong about 16 and pregnant teen mom. It's kind of interesting. I like it. I love the show. I don't like it. I think some of the girls that got them into their 20s now, I think they look fine. Like, <laughs> but. <laughs> But to sit here and to promote teen pregnancy and glamorize it like it ain't shit. If you are a, if you are a teenager, let this shit sit in your mind. Do you want to get pregnant because over a damn TV show? What well, was it? A school upstate. Seventeen girls got pregnant all at the same time because they wanted to do it all together. They wanted to get pregnant at the same time. Some teen girls got pregnant at the same damn time. You talking about teen pregnant, uh, 16 and pregnant teen moms ain't promoting that shit. If it ain't, uh, not 17 girls would have got pregnant at the same damn time. You want to be finding, you want to be finding more 16 year olds out there trying to get pregnant and this and this and this and this. By the time they hitting 40, 
And it's kind of fucked up. It's kind of fucked up. When I grew up, man, we had grandmamas. We had moms. We had grandmamas. We, you know, big mamas. Now is now in the new ages, grandmamas at 34, mamas at 25. No, it's fucked up because one thing is these kids are having kids at, the, at such a young age. When the kids are being teenagers, they have kids. Then the moms become grand, and then a 25 year old mom becomes a grandmama. A 35 year old grandma will become a great grandmother, and then the great grandmother, all this and that, so on and so forth. The damn age limit is going down. It's getting to a point where 12 year olds are getting pregnant, 11 year olds are getting pregnant, 10 year olds are getting pregnant. So, how would you know this? Because it's happening right now because of 16 and pregnant and teen mom. The age limit is going down. It went from nine. It went from being twenty, from twenty-one and down over the last several years. See, at first it was nineteen, then it went down to eighteen, then seventeen, then sixteen, then fifteen, then fourteen, then thirteen, then now it's hitting twelve and eleven and ten. There's actually kids that are under the age of 13 getting pregnant and y'all don't even know that because shows like 16 and pregnant and teen moms are glowing for glorifying this shit as your little 9 year old sisters are sitting up there watching this shit and they hit 10 years old they're getting pregnant because you, you allow these kids watching these shows you're allowing, you know, the parents are allowing kids to watch shows like 16 and Pregnant, 16 and Pregnant, Teen Moms, and shit like this. The young, younger kids, younger kids are sitting up here watching this shit. And it's fucked up. And it's fucked up that you do, that, that y'all... Teenager want to keep the damn show on that y'all want to sit up here and make want these damn networks sit up here and think about keep promoting this shit and keep on doing this and that this and that and making the it, it, it just never it just fucked up man like I don't want my relative daughter to get pregnant because of this motherfucking show it was bad enough the mother did it and don't want their daughters to go through what they did have to raise two kids at a young age. And then now you got all these damn other, like these schools talking to, talking to students not to get pregnant at a young age. How can you teach a kid not to get pregnant at a young age when you got shows like 16 and Pregnant and Teen Moms? You can't. As long as these people promote and glamorize these damn shows, you really can't sit up and say, well, don't get pregnant at a young age. Dr. Drew is full of shit for now and this to continue. If he was a real fucking doctor, the first thing he would have did was pull the plug on it. If he was a real fucking doctor. He's not even a real doctor. Why has Dr. Drew got three fucking shows? Why the fuck he's got three fucking shows? That's the question that y'all need to ask. Why the hell does Dr. Drew got three? Basically, well, actually, four different, five different shows. He's got, uh, what is it? Uh, sober, what was it? Uh, uh, celebrity Rehab, Sober Living, Sober Living, Cele uh, Sober House. That's two shows. Team, uh, 16 and Pregnant, Team Moms. A show on uh, HLN. Then he's got another show. A talk show on uh my a C my T V thirty or C W. He got six shows. Six fucking shows. Why does Dr. Drew got six fucking shows promoting two of them that he's fucking promoting out the ass and that's T Mom for sixteen and pregnant. Don't y'all that don't y'all need to think about that? Why is this motherfucker promoting sixteen and pregnant? He had one show where the kids was having sex and he was doing all that. It was promoting, but this is now. This has been Afro Joe. If you don't like what I got to say, then y'all can kiss my ass. If y'all like what I got to say, holla. Uh, if you like what I got to say, leave a comment or a video response. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. 
and uh, follow me on Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3, and subscribe to my other Wookie's channel, please. And thank you. This has been Afro Joe. Peace.